Hi, I'm Susan Beck. And I'm Kay Hickman. And we have a project for this series of 13 videos. It's called the This and That Sampler, and it has 13 embellishment techniques that we're going to be looking at. Kay and I invite you to make this sampler with us, or if you'd just like to try the techniques and put them on your own projects, that's great too. So let's get started and take a look at our first technique. Our first technique is circular applique. We're actually going to do a quarter circle and secure it with decorative stitches. Okay, circles can sometimes be a little difficult to sew because you have to get them nice and smooth and perfectly round. Yes, I know I've had trouble getting them absolutely circular. It is a challenge, but we have an answer. Bernina has a circular embroidery attachment. It attaches to the bed of the machine with one little screw and then you can sew circles from one and a half inch to ten inches. This sliding tack right here, and this is a very sharp tack, that will be the center of your circle. And the way that we did the circular applique is I have a base fabric and I've put a little bit of fusible fleece on the back to stabilize it. And then for the applique, I have a piece that I've prepared with an applique adhesive. So I'm going to take that off the back and I'm going to use a pen to score the paper. And then I will just peel it off. And when I peel it off, I have an adhesive on the back. Now we're doing a quarter circle, but this would work for a full circle also. And I'm going to align that in the corner, and that corner is the center of my circle. So I want to put it on the pin, and then I have a little stopper because you don't want to sew without this or you will hurt yourself. Okay, now we will go to a straight stitch for the first uh, part of stitching this applique. And you can see, this is just like if somebody tacked one of your feet to the floor, the only thing you can do is walk in a circle. So it's just, I'm sewing like I always do, but it makes it curve into a circle. Isn't that fascinating? It is. It's really a simple technique, and it's amazing that we can do this. Now, I want to lift up the applique fabric and trim it very close to the stitching. As close as you can. As close as you can without cutting into the stitching. And I have one that's already been trimmed. So I'm going to reattach this to the circular embroidery attachment and put my stopper back on. I've put it in the same place. It's still the center of the circle. And now I'm going to move out to make sure that I'm at that circle edge. And I'm going to select a decorative stitch. Depending on the stitch, you could move the needle position over as you're doing this. You can. Too, you? Yes, so you could place the stitch where you want to. This is one of my favorite stitches, Susan. It is a great stitch, but you could use almost any stitch. If you want a heavier look, you could use a satin stitch or any of your favorite decorative stitches. It amazes me that a stitch that looks straight on the screen will actually curve around just any size circle. That's the magic of this. I love the way that we can do applique with this attachment, but also on our sampler we have added additional decorative stitches for added embellishment. And if we want to do that, you just simply move the slider to the position that you're wanting to sew. And now I'm positioned outside of the applique and I can just keep doing echo rows of decorative stitching if that's what I want to do. And here are those decorative stitches. You can make row after row after row of these if you want. You may find that it is truly addictive. There are other ways that you can use the circular attachment too. Here's a table runner that has a border made of half circles with decorative stitches. We used a scallop stitch on the edge to create a shaped edging. And another circle project that's fun is to make wine glass coasters. These are really simple and take just a little bit of fabric stitching circles and then trimming around it and it slips right on the foot of the glass. I hope you'll follow along with Kay and I as we make the this and that embellishment sampler. It's a lot of fun projects. And if you'd like to know more about the circular embroidery attachment, visit your local Bernina dealer today. Mm -hmm.